Yay. Yay. It's it's setting up your meeting. It's on there. I don't remember having to change anything last time. Okay, it's showing it's live. Okay. Um, and then I need to put this down lower. All right. Okay. So I think we're good. Yes. Yeah, so now we're streaming live. Is that better? Can constituents see us? Maybe we'll give a few minutes. Um, so you guys, we are learning how to do this as we go. I'm in my house um, and I am, I had to unplug a lot of my cameras that I have um, so that we could do our Facebook live and I'll plug them back in my security cameras, uh, which I had to add um, getting a nice death threat a couple of weeks ago. So anyways, we did add cameras to our house. I know that's another thing, the joys of being a state rep. So um, while we're waiting for people, I, I just thought we'd talk a little bit um, about what we're going to do today. And then um, we have been getting a few emails and concerns. And uh, just so you know, our office is now 100% um, remote. We are um, all at home, though some of us have our regular backgrounds and then some of us have fancy backgrounds and we're learning the difference. And I will let you guys um, clue in on a little bit. There is Christina. She's messing around with her stuff. So she's triggering the, <laughs> she muted. So she can, you can mute yourself while you're not talking and then that will keep the screen from switching. Just remember to unmute yourself when it is your time. So Christina is going to be, um, oh, apparently my computer is overheating. That's just awesome. Um, maybe because I'm outside. So, um, Hold on a second. I'm sorry, guys. All kinds of, of things are going on here. Oh, my computer is really hot. Why is my computer so hot? That should not be going on. Um, okay, so yeah, I it's just, we're going to just try to do this and then we may stop. So we're going to try to do our census online. I think we're just going to go into it because we are having some technical difficulties today. And I have my computer actually listed, so it should not be hot and it is not that hot outside. Um, but maybe my computer is just taking too much on here. Okay, so what we are gonna do is, Christina, what are you doing? She's muted. <laughs> I'm trying to find some headphones because my headphones just died. Oh. And oh. I'm out there to get a reverberation whenever everyone's talking. So oh, I apologize. Gotcha. This is a technical issue on my part. My headphones. Okay. I'm going to hide you while you do that. So you then see, we'll, sorry. how about if I do that for you? That'd be lovely. Thank I'm going to so do much. that for you while you look, do that. Okay. Okay. Where did Chris, I just exited Christina. I think I just killed you. Okay. No, hold on. Uh, where'd you go? Everything's bouncing around. I'm going to stop your video for a minute. Okay. So, okay, so we're gonna get Christina off for a minute. Okay, you guys, we are really trying to do this. We are doing, we have a little bit of technical difficulties going on this morning. Um, and this is what we're doing. We are at home. We are not used to doing this. Our bandwidth in my house is not set up for doing all of this. Um, and we are going to do the best we can. So today we are going to do our census. And we have Cindy, who is one of our aides, our district aides, and she is at home and she's a native Spanish speaker. And um, she's going to talk about a little bit um, how being the head of household, uh, or she's not the head of household, but she is going to be the one filling out the census because she understands it a little bit more than her parents. And so, Cindy, tell us a little bit about why you're filling out the census for your household. Um, para todos los hispanohablantes, uh, voy a hacer mi mejor esfuerzo para proveer asistencia en español. Como dijo la representante, uh, yo no soy la cabeza de la casa, pero como entiendo más sobre el censo que mis padres, uh, yo soy la que lo estaré llenando. Entonces, es completamente um, fácil y seguro. Entonces, si siguen con nosotros, las ayudaremos. All right, so, and then Huntley can also um, speak Spanish as well, and he's going to help us with some of the different methods and answering some of the quiz questions that y'all may have while we're doing it. So, so you, I, in my mail, got two letters for the census. So I got this one, um, can y'all see that? Okay, 
So I got kind of a smaller one and then I also got a bigger one. And they say about the same thing and I probably got them at two different times. Um, and they do, they do want you to fill out the census by April 1st. So official day, census day is April 1st. But we are gonna go ahead and fill ours out now. And do we know what the cutoff date is for the census? Do you guys know what the cutoff date is? The, is it on here? The, I'm not exactly sure about a specific cutoff date, but I do know that we're, our objective is to get that by done by April 1st. If it isn't done in April, there will be follow-ups first beginning by phone and then by person in May and June. All right, so um, you will get, if you've got your um, letters, then you will have um, your, I'm gonna just cover my thing. You'll have a sheet of paper in there like this and it will have your address. Um, and basically they just want every household to fill it out. So you do not have to be the head of household. And then you are gonna have, um, it's got all it has in it is a couple, it's got the sheets with instructions. They're very simple in um, several different languages, uh, which is good for our district since we have a ton of languages spoken in our district. I believe it's in between 60 and 80 different languages spoken in our district. Um, so it's saying it should take 10 minutes. And I figure since we're, we're all at home that we have 10 minutes to fill this out. Um, our Denton County did go into a shelter in home. So we want you to stay home. Um, if you have any questions about that, you can um, contact our office. And my email is michelle.beckley at house.texas.gov. And I amazingly actually know my email address now because I've had to say it about a hundred times in the last week. Um, and our staff will get on there and answer your questions. If you have it, uh, we can direct you to the place that you might need to be. There is also an 800 phone number um, that you can fill out your census with. Christina, can you put that into the Facebook Live? The I can do that. The number for your census is 844-330-2020. Um, so you can do your census on the phone. If you do not have internet access, go ahead and call it in and you can go ahead and call in and do your census over the phone. Um, so we do have ways to do that right now. They are not going to be knocking on your door because of the COVID-19 um, coronavirus a pandemic that we are on. But one of the reasons that it's very, very important that we get counted is the funding that we will get from the federal government really depends on what these census numbers are. Um, and we need to count the citizens and non-citizens as well. We're counting all the people. Um, we are not going to be asking the citizenship question. It is not on the census anymore. Um, so I'm gonna log in on my phone and we are gonna start doing our census together. And um, if you guys, I will just read out the questions and then we can go on. And then we will have Cindy and Huntley also answer theirs. And then Christina is going to be um, watching the Facebook in case they have any questions, then um, she will give us questions. Any of your questions on Facebook, she is going to be answering. And then next week we are trying to do um, our, our Facebook Live that we are going to do for the Beckley briefing is um, going to be um, some of the teachers that are teaching at home and how to help with it. So I'm trying to get my family because of most, I've got a family full of teachers and they teach at different levels, seeing if they're available next Wednesday to do a Facebook Live. Looks like my sister is going to be, so we'll talk about it um, and talk about a little bit about how to help at home. And that way, if you guys have any questions that you would like to ask, a teacher, um, that maybe not your teacher, but something that you would like to ask um, just, just, just to help you guys with the stay at home and teaching from home. Uh, and we are gonna just be trying to get some information so people can cope with the situation a little better. Uh, we are, I think April 3rd is the cutoff day, but it's looking like it's gonna be extended. Don't be surprised if this is extended. We are really trying to flatten that curve and really trying to make sure that the numbers don't go really high. Though, as of yesterday, we are at 51 cases of COVID-19 in Dutton County, and we suspect that number is going to go up, which is why the stay home um, Dutton County went with Tarrant Dallas 
um, county to go ahead and do a stay at home. And it's not just the cities. Raco has done it as well. And there's a couple, I believe Rockwall is on there. The city of Dallas went in there to make some uniformity. I am on a letter that I would like the governor to do it so that it is uniform because this, this hodgepodge that we have going on is really confusing to everybody. And I understand that it's confusing. It's confusing to, to the people at home. It's confusing to the businesses. It would be better if we had just a standard um, policy that we were following. So here's what we're going to start on. But today we're going to start on our census. So we are going to log on. I'm just going to get my phone and do it on my phone. Um, so while I'm doing that, y'all can go ahead and log on. Let's have, let's see how many people we can get doing our census today in House District 65 or wherever you are in, this, in the United States that you're watching it. If you're in another country, then you're not doing the census with us today. But if you're in the United States, um, you don't have to be in District 65 to do your census. Um, but we are going to go ahead and log in to my2020census.gov. So give me a second and I'm gonna just do it on my phone while y'all are doing that as well. Um, and Christina, if there's any questions, if you wanna read them out, you can. I will do that. And I'm gonna put that um, login, um, the website for it, I'm gonna put it in the comments. Alrighty, and then also if you need, to, I think Huntley, did you not have a? If you have your number, it tells you when you log in. So is that correct? If you don't have your number, it will find it for you, it will, or you can it, look it will up. be able to find it for you. Yes, and okay. you should have received that number via the census form that everyone should have received in the mail in between. Uh, March 12th and 20th. So every single individual in the United States should have gotten one of these. Um, yeah, yours isn't showing up real well because you got things. So a you got this. Yeah. with your number on it. Uh, that's a confidential ID. That's an identifier for you and you alone. Um, and, uh, and that will allow you to be able to complete your census online uh and uh make any changes if needed uh as you go on all right and i do believe there are instructions if you don't have your your number that they can find it so i'm going to read this first page so it basically says start your census has a little screen says it's going to take 10 minutes it's safe secure confidential everything is private um, and it's really going to help the billions of dollars of federal funds and where it's going to go. It, it's really, really, really important, you guys, to fill it out in North Texas. Uh, everybody in Texas, we are, North Texas is one of the COVID-19 hotspots. And if we're, we're going to need, we're going to need aid. I mean, that's the reality of it. We're already going to need aid. Um, regardless of what party you are, whatever, this is how they decide. It's how many people are actually here. Um, so it's also how your representation, uh, we're going to be doing districting next cycle. And also we are probably getting, Texas is probably getting three to four congressional um, districts so with that we get better representation in Washington. Um, but it's really important to fill it out. So it says getting started. Let me just, I'm gonna scroll through here. So. Um, it says Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari, and you're gonna enable your cookies. But I'm gonna hit the button here that says start questionnaire. Um, and so it has, asks for my 12 digit login. Um, if you do not have it, there is a button that you can click. So you can do that. I'm gonna go ahead and click it on my, I've got my button, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill it out. Um, and I'm gonna let Cindy do a little bit of Spanish interpretation of what we've been talking about while I fill out my number. Okay, lo que estaremos haciendo hoy es llenando el censo. La representante lo está haciendo uh, directamente de su computadora. Entonces, si alguno de ustedes tienen preguntas sobre el proceso o mientras lo hace ella, uh, los pueden hacer y Cristina lo va a decir.
And just to remind y'all, uh, if uh, this is Huntley here, just to remind y'all, if you are looking for the website in order to fill out your census online, you can find that at my2020census.gov. Uh, para ustedes que están llenando el censo sobre el internet, uh, se pueden encontrar por m y 2020 All righty. So I have my first question, or my first thing is it's just verifying my address. So I'm going to click yes and continue. Um, then it's asking me, will I be living? on April 1st, is this where I'm going to be living? Yes, I'm going to be living here on April 1st. So the day that they're counting is where you are going to be living on April 1st. So if you're moving and you're gonna be in moved in before somewhere else, um, before April 1st, that we're kind of in a stay at home. So I think everybody please stay because our, our stay extent goes past April 1st. So please um, say where you're gonna be on April 1st. Um, I'm gonna fill mine out and then um, do we wanna, Guys, I'm going to give you, take a hands. How many want to do the, each question, English to Spanish, or do you want me to go through? I'll do mine and then um, then do it. Then Chris, Cindy can do hers. Is that what we want to do? Or do we want to go in between? So everybody on Facebook, how would you like us to do that? How about if we survey you guys and we'll wait and see. I'm seeing if anyone will respond. I know. <laughs> I am here to read your comments. All right. Do we have anyone that needs to say specifically in Spanish? So, okay, let's go one and let's just go back and forth. I think that'll make okay. it less boring for people. Um, so we'll make the decision. Probably nobody's watching us today because it's kind of um, not as fun as it was last time. How many people are watching? Do we know? Um. We currently have 15 people. So uh, they are watching. They are Yay. watching. And um, one one of your constituents, my mother, would like us to do it back and forth. <laughs> okay. Then we're going with that. So apparently that's the consensus because that was the consensus we came up with too. Okay. So you go ahead, Cindy, and you do your, are you, are you doing yours now too, Cindy? Yes. Okay. So you do yours and you say what I just said, and I'm sorry guys that this is very disorganized. We're not organized. We're just trying to help you. We're trying to just be fun. Okay. Okay, so vamos a estar llenando uh, el cuestionario. Entonces vamos a, a ir de pregunta por pregunta en inglés y en español para cualquiera que necesite ayuda en español uh, igual también. Así que ella va a empezar primero. Okay. Are you done, Cindy? Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry. You'll have to let me know because I speak zero, zero Spanish. Um, okay, so our next question is asking me to fill out my name, my middle name, and my last name, and my telephone number, and they're only going to contact me for census if they have a question about what I'm filling out. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that out while Cindy does the um, uh, uh, while Cindy does the um, the uh, Spanish version. I'm sorry, y'all. I just totally lost my train of thought on that one. Okay. Anteriormente, eh, la primera pregunta de la representante fue cuántas personas están viviendo en su casa o apartamento de en el día primero de abril. Entonces, la, para llenar esa porción tiene que poner las personas que están viviendo desde ese día o si uh, van a estar viviendo en el, en el día del primero de abril. Segundo, están preguntando por su información personal, como su nombre, y solo por si hay preguntas sobre ella después. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. So now we're going to start the household questions um, and it just says press start. And so we're going to actually start filling out our census now that we are all set up. Um, so it's asking me how many people, including myself, uh, will be living or staying at 
my address. So uh, for me, it's my husband and I, and we are not counting our dogs and cats. So it's just people, people guys, people, we're counting people. Um, so for me, it's two. La primera pregunta, como dije anteriormente, es sobre las personas que están viviendo en la residencia. Para ellas son dos. No incluye mascotas como perros o gatos, pero sí incluye cada persona. All right. And so it's asking me for the name um, of the other person that's living here. So I'm putting my husband's name in. Segundo, la pregunta sobre el nombre de la otra persona que está viviendo con ella. En este caso es su esposo, entonces va a poner su nombre. Juan All right. So I think that Cindy has a, more than one person besides herself living at her house. So I'm going to give her a few minutes to fill out the names of the people. Um, so as you fill it out, it, then you can add other people as you put their names. So you're just putting their names and putting them in there. Para los que tienen más de una persona en su residencia, como yo, um, en mi residencia son un total de cuatro. Entonces, vamos a llenar nombre, apellido para cada persona adicional. And it just says that we do not want to miss any people who might be staying there. So if you have any people that are staying at the house for any time on April 1st, it's how many people are going to be in your house on April 1st. Um, children, related or unrelated, newborn babies, um, relatives such as adult children, nieces, nephews, cousins, in-laws, roommates or non other relatives, people without a permanent place to live. So those are the things. And then it listed the two people where they're there and I don't have any other people that are gonna be here um, unless I've got people that start coming soon. But I, at the point, there's nobody else that's gonna be living here. So I'm gonna put no, um, that I don't have any of those people there. La siguiente pregunta es acerca de si hay alguien más adicional en su casa que está viviendo. Entonces es importante poner las personas que están de el día primero de abril, pero también pregunta si hay alguien adicional. Entonces, por ejemplo, personas que están en su casa, pero no permanentemente. Go ahead. So a next question is on April 1st. It's just asking you how your house is owned. Is it owned by you or someone on this household with a mortgage? Is it owned free and clear? Is it renter? Is it occupied without payment um, of rent? So just fill that, I'm gonna fill it out accordingly. Um, and just remember everything's kept quiet. I'm gonna not share my answers. Um, just, it's just, that's the question that it's asking. Siguiente uh, pregunta, si su residencia ha, ha, está siendo uh, rentada, ocupada para alguien más, o si es propiedad suya, entonces responde de acuerdo a su situación. Y todo es confidencial, así que vamos a reservar nuestras respuestas. Um, it says, of the people, our next question, of the people who will be living at my address, who will own the house, apartment, or mobile home on April 1st? Um, so we filled that out. That's our next question. Who, which of the people that you filled in actually own the home? Siguiente eh, pregunta, ¿quién de las personas que ha registrado um, es el propietario de la casa o de la residencia? Okay, so we are going into the next um, phase and it's the people questions and it's asking me between the two people uh, where we can start. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with me and answer the questions about me. So it's asking what sex am I? Pregunta, uh, específicamente preguntas uh, sobre ella, como... Como el sexo de la de ella, entonces ya es 
Feminina. Go ahead. Okay. And then it's asking for my date of birth. Siguiente por la fecha de nacimiento. I have to spin my wheel quite a bit now for the year that I was born. Okay. And then it's um, just verifying my age that's in there after I filled out my date of birth. And then it's asking um, if I'm Hispanic, Latino, or of Spanish origin. This was, I, I am um, not, in case y'all needed. This was I, I will say no. <laughs> Verifica su edad después de poner su fecha de nacimiento. Y siguiente eh, pregunta si se identifica de una origen latina como hispano o español. En su caso, a uh, ninguna de ellas. Go ahead. Um, so now the next question is, are you white, black or African, American Indian or Alaskan, Chinese, Filipino, Asian Indian, Vietnamese, Korean, Japanese or other Asian, Native Hawaiian, Samoan, Chamorro, or other Pacific Islander, um, some other race. So um, I'm white, just in case you guys didn't know, I, I'm white. So I'm going to click that box. Thank you. And it and when we get into this, it's however you like, how you identify. That's what they're doing. And they Huntley had a good explanation of this question. Yes, uh, the the race question is one that people frequently have lots of questions on, and it really is based on how you self identify. And that I'd also like to point out that on the race question, there is no single answer for every single person. That you can mark multiple answers if you are uh, if you self identify as of mixed race. Um, so, uh, so this is how you identify if you feel that you identify as one or more of these, please put an X next to the boxes that apply to you. Um, just for the record, y'all, Huntley did work on the census last time. And so he has gone through the training of kind of how to answer these questions, but most of this is how you self-identify, just FYI. En esa siguiente pregunta eh, es sobre la raza y cómo cada persona se identifica. Entonces, Hanley mencionó que uh, es exactamente uh, cómo ustedes se identifican y no solamente una. Entonces, si, si alguien se identifica como más de una raza, puede identificar como una o dos o más. And, and so I've already made a mistake and it, it let me know. Um, I'm supposed to enter white and then I'm supposed to put, for example, German, Irish, English, Italian, Lebanese. Um, so my family, my mother's Australian. My, my dad is, um, came over from England. So I, I'm gonna put English on, on, on mine from my, I guess, white from where your descent comes. They also have Italian, Lebanese, Egyptian. So you fill that in yourself on what, to define how, how, how much, whatever you are. So how you self-identify. So I'm gonna to try to get to the next question now because I apparently messed that one up. All right, so not too bad. Now I'm gonna go fill it out for my husband. So that's the next one. And he's British, so it's gonna be pretty easy for him. So I'm gonna go fill that out real quick and I'm gonna let Cindy, uh, like she can laugh. Y'all can, y'all we have to laugh about this a little bit because um, while everything is kind of serious in there, it is important that we take this off and we're, we're not perfect, we're human and we all make mistakes and I understand that. Yeah, there, there is no right or wrong way to answer the census. It really is according to how you self-identify. And the reason that all of this information is gathered is it helps us understand demographics when it comes to income and also what uh, it helps when it comes to compliance with things like the Voting Rights Act and the Civil Rights Act. Uh, those are free. But if you ever want, if you ever have questions as to 
uh, what the different questions are within the form, the census form and why they are asked, you can find that information at the following uh, at the following link on 2020census.gov. And um, just for the, they're asking me about my husband, is he opposite? So the next question, it, when you click to the next person, they're asking is it opposite sex, husband, wife, spouse, that's an option, opposite sex, unmarried partner, same sex, husband, wife, spouse, same sex, unmarried partner, biological son or daughter. So they're just trying to get the relationship of the people who live in the house with you. And then there's several choices. I'm not gonna read them all out to you. Um, and I'm gonna give uh, Cindy a little bit of time to explain it and then to fill hers out for her household. Okay. Siguiente, um, acerca de la información de las, sí, de las demás personas viviendo en su residencia. Entonces, uh, igualmente va a preguntar sobre su relación junto con con usted que la está llenando, um, va a preguntar sobre el sexo, sobre su relación directa, como si es su esposo, esposa, cualquier familiar, y hay varias opciones para llenar esa información. All right, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep filling out the questions. Basically, we're gonna do the same set of questions that we just did for myself, for my husband. So um, Cindy's gonna do, and you're gonna do that for every person in the household that you do that. So um, I think Ann Huntley and Chris, Christina's not filling out her census, I think her parents did. And Huntley, are you filling out your census or did you do it already? I'm going to be doing it online. I wanted to follow along to make sure that uh, I could provide any other information without distracting y'all from your very important work of uh, filling out the census. Okay, so I'm gonna let Huntley talk for a minute while we are filling out our census on the other people in our household, which is basically those same questions again. Again, um, I don't think you guys need to know anything. Christina, do you have any questions that you would like to add or in Huntley can answer um, from Facebook while we're here? Oh, she's muted. Oh, we got to unmute you. Is Christina muted? You got to unmute, Christina. Hold on. <laughs> Y'all, we are learning the technical. I'm unmuting her. Okay. Maybe. I think we're both hitting it. I'm not going to hit it. You hit it. Well, eventually we'll get this all squared away. Okay, and then also my dog Patches wants to make himself known as well. That's okay, so, we're at home. That means yeah. we're at home. And the good news is guys, look, maybe by the time we finish this, the um, COVID virus will be over with because apparently we're taking forever. Uh -oh. I know. It's but, okay. Um, anyways, the... Um, one thing is that while most people, 83% of people are going to get the short form census that, that we've been working on, there will be 17% that will receive a long form census. And this um, includes those questions plus 27%, um, 27%, um, excuse me, 20, 27 more questions. So, um, and can, can everyone hear me on Facebook? If not, can you please message on Facebook? They said they couldn't hear and they, they needed to unmute me. So. Hold on one second, guys. You're lagging behind me. Hi, I, we're, we're all trying to make this work here. <laughs> um, and we are all at home. We are yes. all at home with all our family members that we are counting right now. Yes, and being very helpful because I don't want to be talking and then no one can hear me. That that wouldn't work Hold out fine. So um, glad everyone can hear me here. Great. So this is going to, um, the long form census um, is gonna include more questions that include, um, that include like housing, um, number of bedrooms, um, shelter costs, rent, et cetera. Um, but it's still quite uh, simple to complete. It's not going to take you over an hour to, to do. So um, just wanted to clarify that. 
And then so if the you're other... lucky, then if you get the long form, then you, you win the lottery, maybe buy a lottery ticket, maybe because that's how they're doing it. I'm guessing it's random. Is that what it is? Okay. Yes, it is. It is a random selection of yes. people. So, so n- none of us got that 17%. So none of us have the long form census in front of us right now. Yeah. Um, the same. So we should not buy lottery tickets. Mm-hmm. I don't think you can buy them online and we're not supposed to be out of the house. So um, anyway, so the long form is just a little bit more detail to get that in there. So, so people who are watching at home, so my staff were supposed to be spending um, all this time helping people with the census, helping the cities with the census. We were gonna have office hours that were open. Uh, I do have a lot of staff right now that normally a state house person would not have because I was really trying to help with the census. Um, so that is why my staff actually knows quite a bit about the census. They spent a lot of time researching and that was one of the things that I really wanted to make sure that everybody in district 65 was counted. Um, and that was pre COVID-19. And so we are just kind of trying to keep it going this way. So I have now, I, I'm now done filling out everything for Martin, which is my husband. Um, Cindy, are you ready to continue on? Have you finished your household questions? Or are you still working? I'm working on some, but we can continue. No, we'll let you finish. We'll go ahead and let you finish. Because we, so we, we actually, we, we have another question. Okay, so we'll um, start a question. Okay. So um, from Adam, if I filled out the online census survey before I received the actual, okay, I'm just going to hold my phone instead of having it lean up against something so it doesn't fall again. My bad. <laughs> Anyways. So <sighs> in the office, you, you probably could pop in there and grab the thing because nobody else is in there. Um, grab the little. I am going to uh, take that under advisement. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the question was, if I filled out the online census survey before receiving the actual <laughs> letter, um, is there a way to confirm that my responses for my address have been registered? And what happens if someone tries to complete the online census more than once? Um, my understanding, Huntley, is that there are some safeguards in place to prevent this. For example, um, there could be some um, children who are in shared households because one parent is in one house and one parent is another. And there are some safeguards to make sure that the child's only counted once if by chance, both parents count them. Um, yeah. Is that correct, Huntley? That that is that is correct, Christina. The part of the reason why they ask the the relationship question, as well as some of the, uh, the yeah, I mean, also the address uh, provision, you know, is also to make sure that uh, uh, you know that we're not double counting folks when it comes to online or on the paper form. So, uh, so ha- which one you prefer is entirely up to you. Uh, but, uh, but as far as the, it, once you're actually entering in a person's name and information, they have some safeguards in place to cross check that to make sure that people aren't double count. And then also they can always call the census to confirm that everything's good. Um, and that number again is 844-330-2020 for English. And then Spanish is 844-468-2020. Anyway. All right. So uh, how are you doing there, Cindy? Good. Good. So go. she has like three times as many people that she has to answer the questions for than I did. So see, that still didn't take very long. So now um, the next part, it says, we would like to make sure everyone is only counted once. So we are at that point on here. Some people live and stay or more than one place. For example, a parent, a grandparent is with another person. You're in college, you're a military assignment to be closer to a job or business in a nursing home or group home, in a jail or prison, at a seasonal or second residence. So do any of the people in my household um, live or stay somewhere else other than um, my address? I'm sorry, I almost told you where I live, which we don't wanna do that. Um, so, so no, so none of us do, we live here. We only live here. So none of the above. So I'm gonna just as do any of the people, the following people usually live or stay somewhere else other than, so I'm gonna say none of the above because that's my answer. 
Um, so I am assuming that if you do, that it's going to ask you some questions on there. But I'm going to click none of the above because I'm filling mine out live as we do this. And already. All right. How about you, Cindy? Okay. So la siguiente pregunta es para prevenir contar a alguien más de una vez. Entonces dice si alguien de las personas anteriormente que registró contó vive en alguna otra residencia. Entonces, para la, el caso de la representante es no, pero para los demás, por ejemplo, si alguien vive en una universidad, están las Fuerzas Armadas o cualquier otro um, puede responder según su situación. Good. All right. So um, it says now you are almost finished and are now ready to send your responses. Once your questionnaire is submitted, you will not be able to access your information or change any of your responses. After you submit your responses and are shown the confirmation page, you can close your browser. So I'm going to, you can edit your questionnaire if you decide to. Uh, mine is finished, so I'm going to go ahead and submit my questionnaire. And it says I am done. So my household has finished the census and I will get a confirmation in the email and I can print or save, I have a confirmation number. So, um, and if you have any questions, you can call this number, it says 844-330-2020, which I think is the same phone number that we've been saying over and over and over. So. I, and I llegado al fin del cuestionario. Um, dice que en línea pues no, no puede hacer algunos cambios después, pero por ejemplo, en, en, si lo está llenando en el folleto, puede hacer según su situación. Go ahead. Okay. So, um, y'all, I think if you were actually going to do it, it would not take 10 minutes, especially if you uh, don't, have, unless you have a lot of people in your household or got the, the extended form. Um, it took us longer because we were on here and plus we were having a lot of technical difficulties today. Um, so we are going to get better at this. Hopefully, uh, maybe we won't ever get better because the coronavirus will get under control and then we'll go back to our regular um, state rep business instead of trying to do it all mobile but we are going to keep trying to do this uh, mobile um, if you have any suggestions of any uh, Beckley briefings you'd like to see in the future please send them over we can take the constituent um, questions or whatever you would like a question you'd like address we're reaching out to other people um, just right now, things are really tense. We're still, everything's changing. I, I, I was gonna say every 24 hours, but I think it's changing every 12 hours. Um, we are kind of in uncharted waters here. We do have um, some concerns that our, our office, I'm about to sneeze y'all and it's from the pollen. So hold on. <coughs> oh, so um, that is pollen and, and then just take your temperature every day. That will know whether you have Corona or if it's the pollen. Um, in my case, it's the tree pollen because I am always got really bad allergies this time of year. So I want you guys to just keep know, um, follow what's going on in Denton County. We do have a very serious situation going on in the state school um, with the Corona-19 virus or COVID-19 virus is active in that school. And we were working with that. Uh, we have a situation where um, some people are um, possibly going to be evicted. We are also working on that. We are working with other representatives and other offices for all of these things. Um, this is a bipartisan effort. This is not time to be partisan. Uh, we are trying to work with everybody that we can. We're working with our mayors, our county judges, um, our, our city uh, managers, everything we can to help and make sure everybody stays safe. I mean, right now we're still trying to not overrun our hospital facilities. We have been reaching out to our hospital facilities. Um, it is very serious. Um, we do need to stay home uh, and you need to stay home as much as possible, but do reach out to our office. If you have any suggestions on um, a Beckley briefings that you'd like to see or like us to try to get on. We're trying to get some experts um, to get on with us as well, like we did. Um, we had the physician's assistants come on and do a really good um, 
the, our first one, our first one when we did live or we did it live, but we were uh, actually in our office. And since then we have um, completely, we are not going into the office at all right now. So um, if anybody has, is there, are there any other questions? Does anybody have any last minute questions? Um, anything for Cindy in Spanish or anything that we can help you with? We don't have anything at the moment, but we can give them a minute to type something. Yeah, I think there's there's apparently a 20 second lag. So we will give a minute, um, but we really are just encouraging everybody, please fill out your census. Um, it is going to be crucial for Denton County. Uh, we are going to need the resources here. Uh, it's, everybody's going to need them, but it, it's going to be based on percentage of people that are in in our county. So we need to make sure we get the resources for the people that are here. Uh, yes. so, yeah. And Huntley, do you want to go into like, just, it's not just healthcare. What other, what other resources do we get from? Yeah, Michelle, can I, I if, uh, thank you for that. I just wanted to mention that, you know, for, for folks asking, you know, why do we do the census? Uh, you know, the, it provides that demographic data that, uh, you know, lawmakers, businesses, teachers, a variety of different public servants and private actors use in order to decide where resources need to go, how resources get distributed when it comes to public services, um, when it comes to, uh, you know, right now when we're dealing with uh, the, the spread of the virus and the response to it, we, well, a lot of how, you know, like resources are divided when it comes to hospitals and fire departments, schools, roads, uh, basically any public resource, a, a lot of that is directed by the census data. So the re, uh, so it's absolutely critical that every single individual gets counted so that your community gets counted the way, according to the population that lives there. We wouldn't want any community to be undercounted, which means that they may be underserved in terms of the resources that we're going to be distributing. So, um, and just to, uh, it, would you mind, Michelle, if I shared a quick graphic on that, just to give no. people some options on that? Go ahead, so you uh, can see your screen. <laughs> gotcha, Michelle. No, he's you want to take it over. over. He's been taking over. We're learning how this goes. Over. <laughs> I, I was put in the doghouse on that for a while, y'all. But uh, <laughs> but for right now, I've been given the go ahead. So here we go. Uh, over one point five trillion dollars in federal funds are uh, are decided based on how the census is counted. Let's also not forget that your representation uh, you know, in Congress on the state level and the federal level is also decided in part by the census. Um, so just make sure that you avail yourself of those options to get counted. Uh, you know, As you can see, we have a number of different ways that you can get counted. Uh, you can uh, respond online, you can respond by phone, or you can respond by mail. Uh, and uh, for filling out online, as you can see up at the top, it's my2020census.gov. And we also have all of these different phone numbers available. The census uh, can respond, uh, can accept uh, responses in 59 different languages. Uh, these are some of the most prevalent. Uh, and if you were going to fill out your census by phone, and just as a friendly reminder, there is no question about immigration or citizenship. There is also no census enumerator is going to ask you about your political affiliation. They're not going to take social security numbers. They're not asking for bank account information. So just be aware that all of this information that the census collects, um, your responses are, you know, like held uh, in the strictest of confidence by the census, uh, uh, by the Commerce Department, um, and only used for demographics, uh, not for any personal identification to the public. Um, so, and once again, you can respond at my2020census.gov, and as you can see, we have all of these different phone numbers, depending on the language 
that you speak uh, up in the top left corner, you can see English and Spanish um, as well as a number of others. Uh, but as I said, these just happen to be the most prevalent uh, available. You can always go to 2020census.gov for more information. Yes. And um, we will put a, um, we will share those in the um, comment section of this um, live video. Once we are finished, we'll go ahead and share all those graphics in there. Um, so Huntley will share those for us so that y'all have them. So let's make sure um, you guys make sure you share this video, make sure you get your friends, your family members that don't live with you to go ahead and fill out your census. And let's see if all of us can get five people, five households, to fill out their census today because let's make sure that that hd 65 is a hundred percent counted thank you guys i'm gonna, we're going to end this meeting and we thank you very much again if you want to ask any questions or you have any suggestions on and i've got a bumblebee that's buzzing by my house by my head um if you want to um have any other have us talk about anything else michelle.beckley at house dot texas dot gov and you go ahead and spell the word texas uh and you uh we are going to get we have resources of various different ways we are working with the texas we had a call today with the texas workforce commission we are probably going to do another facebook live a little bit later to, uh, in the week to talk about um, some of the information that we have collected from the texas workforce commission uh, some of the rules are changed since we are in this extraordinary situation um, just to kind of help people who have um, who may have gotten laid off already to help them continue on right now. And if you are in an apartment, there is a Supreme That's Court order um, that they can ordinary situation um, just to kind of help people. Why am I getting like feedback? Who may have gotten laid off already to help them continue on. Right I'm now. not sure, but maybe you can mute all of us. Oh, okay. I am going to just end the meeting. How about that? There we go. <laughs> How about we just end the meeting? Uh, because I am at my limit of technical difficulties for the day. <laughs> Understood. No it, worries. It, it may be Thank me. Thank you so much, Rep Beckley, for, uh for doing the census with everybody and helping everyone see how easy it is. <laughs>